Corey, I got a few questions, and we've uh, talked about this before. The main thing I want to ask you is how you got into social media. You are a perfectly nice artist doing artsy things, and now all of a sudden you're one of the hundred most powerful <laughs> women on Twitter. How did, how did this happen? Okay. Well, like you said, I've been painting for a while and about 20 some odd years and I'm represented in galleries across the country. And a friend of mine started a blog, which most of us know now is a more of an interactive website than what um, a static website used to provide us now. A blog is something we can go in and, and change ourselves every day without having to enlist a webmaster to help us. And all of a sudden I decided, just on a whim, you know, I want to start a blog. I want to start sharing my art and explaining kind of how I've um, gotten to where I am. And uh, because even though I did take art in college, I still consider myself uh, self-taught. Um, it takes a while to learn the accumulative knowledge that you end up with to where you finally are able to sell paintings. So I thought I'd offer help to others. And so I started this little blog which quickly grew and became quite popular. And, and I started with one small little WordPress free blog template, and then I outgrew it and, and kept um, enlarging it. But a lot of that is due to social media. I had seen um, Twitter and Facebook, and a couple years ago I did sign up for Facebook. And, and again, I've only been blogging for about a year and a half. And um, when I started with Facebook, it was kind of connecting with old friends and family, you know, like most of us start on Facebook. I didn't really spend a lot of time there. Um, and I had seen Twitter before I started blogging. And I didn't get Twitter when I first saw it. The little bird kind of attracted me to it because I love to paint birds, as you can see. And once I started blogging, I understood that, okay, this is what Twitter and Facebook are really for. And so I signed up on Twitter and I started using Facebook as a, as a platform to reach out to people and share my tips um, that I've been blogging about. And, uh, and that's kind of what, what happened and it's just taken off. How much time are you spending a, a week attending your, your social uh, media network? Too much. <laughs> you know, um, I, I have spent quite a bit. It's funny because uh, as soon as I got this recognition, it's like, oh no, now I've got to really try hard to keep it there. And, and so I, I just really wanted everything to look its best, especially when I knew ahead of time that I was going to be featured in the Huffington Post which was a couple weeks ago. So, But now I've kind of just brought it back down and the average person could spend about 20 minutes to a half an hour a day um, and have a pretty strong social media presence. And that, that's what I say. Um, it's easy to get sucked into the vortex. It's real social and a lot of fun. Artists, it, it's a solitary environment for the most part, being in our studios by ourselves. And so um, a lot of artists really enjoy social media because of social outlet. Now, another thing that you've done really effectively is using uh, YouTube for videos. Can you yes. tell us a little about that? YouTube is, you know, just a great way, another way of getting yourself out there. And um, Google is the number one search engine, uh, at least it was last time I, I looked, you know, if things change. Um, and YouTube is number two. And what that means, I, I think I explained this to you in our uh, chat the other day, Lynn, is... Um, you know, Google, when we're, when we're trying to find something, we Google it, and then we find the information. People are now going to YouTube because they want to watch video on how to do something or product reviews, demonstrations, and it's a great way to, to target your own niche. Um, it's, a, it's a really interesting, fast way of attracting people to your product. And you've done it. One video I loved is the one you did. Uh, you do some plein air painting, and so you, there was an actual video showing you setting up on a bridge over a river. Yes, yeah. That actually was a Plum TV video. And, you know, because of my presence on social media, I've been asked to be a hostess for Plum TV, and, and they did that little bio about me, A Day in the Life of Lori McPhee. And that was a really special day because I was setting up painting plein air there on, on film under pressure. And a moose crossed our path right then and there. And then shortly after, when we broke down, we were walking and a family of foxes ran across us. And so it was a kind of magical video, magical moment. Uh, if someone, uh, artist or someone involved in an art fair, 
decided they did want to take the plunge and get into social media, what would you recommend for first step? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting because I, we have a pretty good art fair here in Sun Valley, Idaho, um, the Sun Valley Arts and Crafts Festival. But I walked around um, there, this was about three weeks ago, and a lot of artists still are not involved in social media, nor are they blogging. And so I found that kind of interesting, and they were very skeptical of what I was doing. I offered to post some of them on my blog, and a lot of them were very reluctant. They didn't want their art. Um, photographed and written about on my blog so I just decided not to do it I think it is kind of interesting a lot of artists are real savvy with the internet and others are very reluctant and so I think um, a great way to start out is Facebook it's slower but if you don't have a blog um, it's it's very similar to your own little blog where you can upload your pictures and talk about what you've done and and little stories and and you connect with other artists and friends and collectors and that's a great way to, to build relationships. Now Twitter on the other hand is more viral meaning it is the quickest way to build brand recognition on the internet and it's free. It's a free marketing place just like Facebook. It, it's amazing how quickly you can grow your brand on Twitter um, but without a blog, it doesn't make quite as much sense to me. You can direct people to your Facebook page, though. So so it does work, but it, it especially works well if you have a blog. And remember that Twitter and Facebook are micro-blogging in themselves, which means people are looking for content with value. So you have a 140 characters uh, to type and in that you need to try and think of something that offers value to the people you're reaching out to. Well, uh, last question is uh, what cautions or concerns would you have uh, for people that are going to be getting involved in this? Kind of jumping in quickly without really understanding it. Um, I think it's good to sign up and and they're called lurkers. There's a lot of lurkers, but if you don't feel very confident, it kind of pays to sign up and just watch a little bit. Find people in your niche and see how they're doing it. Uh, do a little bit of research and then jump in. My kids think Twitter is just about talking about what you had for breakfast and you know that sort of thing. And and it isn't. It's actually a quick way to to learn about news to understand your niche and reach outside of your niche. Um, it's very global and Facebook is too. And so I think you want to get in there and kind of have something of value to offer back and then start building your relationships and make sure that you check what you're about ready to post because it's easy to make a mistake. Make sure your links are working. Um, Stay away from foul language. I mean, some people do okay with it. I personally don't like to see that. Um, we get enough of that on TV these so, days. Um, yeah, just, you know, have good manners. Tweet people the way you want to be tweeted. Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, Lori, thank you very much. I wish I could show you the room we got. Uh, I know, darn it. Okay. Uh, but we can see you, and that was certainly the more okay. important. Thing. And we really appreciate your time, and uh, let's give Gloria a round of okay. applause. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. Okay. All right. You take Bye, care. Bye, Lori. Thanks Bye -bye. a lot. Bye.